This is all about China turning barren lands into green lushes. So, before anything else, watch this. Hi, good day to everyone, Richard Aguilar here. And once again, this is Arthur, and we are back again today to give you another wonderful video. But before we proceed, be sure to subscribe and smash the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. China has already made success in turning some of their big desert regions into productive land rich with crops. And today, you will see how China turns some of their barren lands into amazing green lushes. And since we don't want to waste any more of your time, let's proceed to our video. Number 1 is Watch Lewis Plateau Transform into Forest Land in Northwest China. The Lewis Plateau spans seven provincial level regions in Northwest China. Fossil remains prove humans have lived here million years ago. But gradually, overgrazing and deforestation stripped away vegetation, eroding the soil. So far, 163,000 hectares of forest have been rebuilt. Forest cover has increased to 72.9 PCT. Barren soil has been turned to washland. Number 2 is China's nickel capital undergoes huge changes. China's nickel capital, Jingjiang city of Gansu province is undergoing dramatic changes. Exploitation of the metal however, has led to serious damage to the environment. The city has switched to more than sustainable development and now has a booming floral sector. Number 3 is Battling China's Largest Desert Taklamakan is known as the Sea of Death. Sandstorms ravage the land half-time of the year. The maximum surface temperature could reach 70 degrees Celsius in summer. In the past decades, more than 3,000 oil workers have been dedicated to greening the desert. After 30 years of unremitting efforts, the green area in Middle Taklamakan Desert covers 43.6 square kilometer. Number 4 is Chinese forestry enthusiasts plant 5 million trees in a decade. Meet a forestry enthusiast. For the love of forestry, he established an afforestation team after retiring in 2009. The team has expanded to 600 people from a dozen. The average age of team members is approximately 65. In the 1950s, only 2% of the Xi County was covered by trees, leading to severe soil erosion. Now, they are all over the mountains in the county.
Number five is Chinese photographer witnessed dramatic changes of small village in Guizhou. A photographer in China's Guizhou province. One of the most that impressed him most was taken in Mao village. With China's targeted poverty alleviation efforts, the woman caught in photo now owns her new house. Relocation projects for poverty alleviation have helped 1.32 million people in Guizhou. Number 6 is Earth is greener, largely thanks to China and India. Research by the U.S. Space Agency NASA shows that the amount of the Earth's surface covered by green vegetation has expanded over the past two decades and that China and India are the main contributors to the increase. The greening phenomenon was first detected using satellite data from the mid-1990s, according to the NASA research, and based on nearly 20 years of information collected by instruments orbiting Earth on two satellites. Number 7 is Farmers plant trees on cliffs in China's Chongqing. A group of farmers in southwest China's Sichuan province have succeeded in planting trees on the sheer rock face of precipices to protect the land in between from being desertified. The higher they climbed, the more stones cropping up and they may fall at any time. Wearing only safety helmets without any other protective equipment, they used grass or bigger trees as grips. Number 8 is Watch how China contribute to global greenery expansion. Data from NASA satellites have shown that China and India led the way in greening on land thanks to ambitious tree planting programs in China and intensive agriculture in both countries. The study published in the latest edition in Nature Sustainability showed that at least 25% of the foliage expansion since the early 2000s globally came in China. Number 9 is Villagers shake off poverty by turning barren land into oasis in southwest China. Chichou County in southwest China's Yunnan province was plagued by rocky desertification. 75.4% of its land was covered by rocks. Local villagers determined to improve the situation since 1990s. After research, 
they decided to plant kiwi vines and sophora shrubs given the suitable soil conditions. Today, county has more than 330 hectares of kiwi groves. They have also turned 140 square kilometers of rock land into dense forest. So that's all for now. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. If you have something to say about this video, please don't forget to leave some comment below. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar. And this is Arthur. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video. video.